Hi everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing parameters within Tableau. So parameters actually allow the, uh, the user to customize their data that they see within their view. So while there are tons of ways to use parameters within Tableau, we're going to be discussing parameters as filters, as well as parameters as calculations. And we're going to be later discussing dynamic parameters in a later video. So when we talk about parameters as filters, we can use the simple example, show top five and 25 customers in one view. So after you've dragged some of sales into columns and customer name into rows, we are greeted with this incredibly long list of customers. So to filter down our view to accommodate the top five and 25 customers, we drag customer name into filters and we can go to top. And so just like limiting our view um, to a specific amount of uh, customers or cities or countries in our views before, we can actually create a new parameter. So this parameter would, instead of limiting our view to only five or 25, we had the option to view as many as we want. And so in creating a parameter, I like to give uh, the parameter an actionable title to notify the user that, hey, you know, you can use this parameter. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and name this set top n filter. And so after creating it, uh, you know, we can go in and make sure we see our parameter control and we can locate it on the right hand side. And so in seeing this top end filter, we see the you know, slider and we can set the appropriate amount of customers we want to see and interact with in our view. When we tackle parameters as calculations, we can ask the question, how does an increase or decrease in sales affect the performance of our regions? So we are able to drag regions into columns and some of sales into rows. And so as you see down here, we have central, east, south, and west. When creating our calculated field um, to interact with our parameter, we actually want to get started off with creating the parameter. So we can name this parameter adjust the percent Oops, um, excuse me. In sales. And so since we are talking about percentages, we actually want to make sure we click float. So float allows us to use decimals or fractions within um, our data type. Integers would be more of whole numbers, strings, of course, are uh, you know, typically letters, Boolean, true or false, and date and time are date and time. So we're just going to stick the float and hit OK. And so we can see our parameter at the bottom left. Next, we're going to make our calculation. So in creating our calculated field, we're, of course, you know, doing our best to communicate with our system uh, running Tableau. So um, the calculation is actually going to be fairly simple for this example. So all we have to do is multiply sales and our parameter, which is adjust the change in sales. And so parameters are written in this purplish color just to, know, you know, to tell you within the calculation card, OK, you're dealing with a parameter. So this calculation is valid, and we have to give this calculation a name. So typically, when I create calculations that are going to interact with a parameter, and that's their specific function, I like to make sure I list p dot and then name them. So I'm going to have adjusted sales. And the, you know, the calculation is valid. And so now we have to drag our adjusted sales calculation, we're actually going to make this a dual axis chart. And so we can see our sales and our parameter. But uh, this is actually the parameter calculation, not the parameter itself. So in order to have the parameter show, we just right click our parameter and show parameter control. And so now we can adjust the number and uh, 
the, the percent change. And so uh, 0.5 is going to be 50%. If we wrote down two, that would be 200%. But we can go in and edit this to show that it will be a percentage. And so now we can see 200% and then 50%. Oops, excuse me, that's 500%, 5%, and 100% uh, would just be as one. So thank you everyone for stopping by for this quick tutorial. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be discussing dynamic parameters. So thanks everyone. If you have any questions, of course, comment below or uh, check out to see if your question that you have is within the forum. All right, catch you in the next video.